Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to speak to all of you today at the opening of the ASEAN Biodiversity Heroes Regional Forum. Let me first extend my deepest gratitude to the Biodiversity Conservation Agency of Vietnam and Hanoi University of Natural Resources and Environment for their tremendous support in hosting this forum. I wish to thank the ASEAN Center for Biodiversity for taking the lead in propelling the vision of ASEAN Biodiversity Heroes Program. My appreciation also goes to the European Union for continuous con commitment in supporting the promotion of biodiversity conservation in ASEAN region. Ladies and gentlemen, the ASEAN region is blessed with incredibly rich biodiversity while it occupies only 3% of the Earth's land. It covers four diversity hotspots and contains three of the world's 17 mega diversity nations, namely Indonesia, Malaysia and the Philippines. ASEAN also has some of the longest coastline and richest ocean resources in terms of marine biodiversity. The region hosts the world's center for marine biodiversity, also known as the Coral Triangle, and has the most extensive and diverse coral reef in the world, which account for more than 20% of the global total. We are, however, also facing enormous threat. Statistics shows that some parts of the region are projected to lose 70 to 90 percent of habitats and 13 to 42 percent of species by the year 2100, while assessment of the forest ecosystem indicate an average annual rate of loss of 1.26% from 2000 to 2010. These circumstances are likely to get worse as recent studies show that climate change has already adversely affected global diversity at the species and ecosystems level. In spite of the reality that human life is heavily dependent on biodiversity resources. We note that the value of biodiversity is not yet widely recognized. Some fragments of the population do not seem to be aware yet of the importance of biodiversity, let alone to take extra efforts in conserving it. If there is no urgent action to tackle this, the lack of awareness will continue to be a stumbling block to biodiversity conservation efforts in the region. It is therefore critical for all of us to work together to make biodiversity conservation much more well understood and well attended, especially by the younger generation, our future decision makers. With these things, in mind, the ASEAN Biodiversity Heroes Program was conceived to boost public awareness of value of biodiversity and promote action to conserve and sustain, sustainably manage the world's rich natural resources. The ASEAN Biodiversity Heroes Program is consistent with the ASEAN leaders' commitment to build a sustainable community that promotes social development, environmental protection, and a resilient community under the ASEAN Community Vision 2025 and the ASEAN Social Cultural Blueprint 2025. Furthermore, the program serves to achieve the global Aichi biodiversity target. Number one, we state that by 2020, people are aware of the value of biodiversity and the steps they can take to conserve and use it sustainably. Ten dedicated 
individuals from 10 ASEAN member countries were awarded at the inaugural search for the ASEAN Biodiversity Hero. The first ASEAN Biodiversity Heroes event was held in conjunction with the 50th anniversary of ASEAN on 8 August 2017 and the winners were recognised for their invaluable contributions in conserving biodiversity. They are indeed the faces of biodiversity conservation in ASEAN, whose passion have shed light and ignited hope for cons conservation efforts in the region. In an attempt to sustain the outcome of the ASEAN Biodiversity Heroes Program, a series of ASEAN Biodiversity Heroes Regional Forum has been designed to gather a wide range of key players from various sectors, the media, academia, the government, private organisation and youth. The event which you are now attending is commendable and it is marked the beginning of three-legged -leg series of regional forums. I believe that the forum would invigorate as well as well hear inspiring story and experience of the four ASEAN biodiversity heroes on their advocacy and the work they have undertaken to promote biodiversity conservation in their respective countries and the ASEAN region. Ladies and gentlemen, as we honour the heroes of the extraordinary effort, we must remember that everyone, no matter who they are, has a role to contribute and we are determined to play our part by raising awareness and encouraging others to take concrete action in conserving biodiversity. I would like to convey a special message to all youth attending at this forum as you immerse yourself in the proceeding in the next two days, I hope you will be inspired to take proactive actions to conserve biodiversity in your own spheres of influence. I challenge you to be part of an informal new generation that acts as agent of change for biodiversity conservation. I wish you all the best and fruitful deliberation throughout, throughout the forum. Thank you.